the average Australian purchases about 27 kilograms of clothing each year, and 23 kilograms of that ends up in landfill. We need to innovate and to stop thinking about clothes at end of life as waste and start thinking about clothes at end of life as resource. Yeah. <laughs> well, traditionally, fashion's been done the same way for centuries. So it's never, we've never seen a point in time to transition and take a whole industry in a completely new uh, direction. Some sort of another industrial revolution, really, for an old school manufacturing system. In the late 18th century, Britain's Industrial Revolution saw the making of clothes taken out of the home and into factories. The invention of the sewing machine transformed the garment industry. Shops displayed the latest fashions. I think if you look back at the history of retailing in Australia, and you need to probably go back as far as the, the, then the Second World War, when polyesters and man-made materials started coming into the market, certainly the development occurred then when cotton shortages were obvious through the Second World War. In laboratories like this, new products for tomorrow are born, and an even closer watch is kept on the quality of today's production. Here, too, are to be found the textiles of the future. Remarkable developments that transform an ordinary dress material like this into a treated cloth that miraculously withstands stains. Here's a newly developed material which needs only to be hung up and without the aid of a pressing iron, recovers its smooth, unwrinkled beauty. That's 15 denier nylon, finer than a human hair. And that's the basic material of which all of our stockings are made today. From the 1950s, cheap synthetic fabrics like polyester and nylon flooded the market. Uh, a lot of trouble is caused with ill-fitting shoes. Women don't take enough care of calluses, of uh, toenails, uh, hands too, and putting the stocking on. Most textiles, if we look at what the fibres and the compositions of garments, for example, are made out of, most of it is polyester and cotton, the two most commonly used fibres in the world. And given poly is plastic, uh, if you're looking at poly garments, and they may be blended with the cotton, so the cotton has the natural ability to break down, given it's organic, but polyester therefore will stay around just as long as any other plastic ending up in landfill. Mm -hmm. 